Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Fred Sutton and I will be discussing closing entries with you today on this video. So to start off with, I want you to picture that what the what we'll start off with is the income statement. So as you if you remember from the previous videos that I have shown, is that the income statement has revenues and expenses. And so what we are going to do uh, is basically close these out. Now these are temporary accounts. So anything that's uh, an income statement is a temporary account, and then also dividends are a temporary account, and they're not carried over from period to period or year to year. So we close those out so that way we, we can start fresh and see how we have done in that period, the next period of time. So the first thing what we're going to do is really take a look at our revenues, and we're going to get, uh, get basically close those out. So typically what happens is here is, and I'll just start with our sales revenue, we will have uh, a credit balance. If you remember from the video from the income statements, you will have a credit balance and then your expenses will have debits. And so what we're gonna do here, let's say we have sales revenue of $1,000. I'm gonna debit that and then I will credit income summary. Now, by doing this, I have basically taken that credit that I had value of $1,000 in that sales revenue account. By debiting it, I now take it to zero. That's what we're doing here. This income summary is a temporary placeholder that we use to move the, uh, the revenues or, and our expenses to where we need them to go. And at the end of that, our net, net income or net loss into our retained earnings. And we'll show you that as I get to it. So remember that. Uh, in your debits and credits, in that video I went over expenses will have a debit balance. So what we're going to do then is credit those. So first I'll put income summary here. So I am going to use this placeholder once again. And maybe we had $500 in expenses. And so my expenses could, my expenses could be wages expense, uh, miscellaneous expense, and um, supplies expense. And we have 300, excuse me, credits, 300, 100, and 100. So as you can see, this balance is out. So now I have, I have 500 credits, 500 debits here. So if you see here, to my income summaries, I have a $500 difference. I have I, I have revenues of 1,000, expenses of 500. So I have a profit of $500. So that profit now I will close out in my next part of that. So I'll take this information and bring it over to here, and then we'll close that out. So I'll close that out by doing a couple different things here. So what we're going to do is we're going to close it out to our our retained earnings, and then we'll close out our dividends also. So since this is, I need to make sure that these balance, these income summaries here, I will do an income summary because we made a profit of 500. And then what we'll do is close that out to retained earnings. And that will be 500 that we will put towards my retained earnings. And so that will then go into our balance sheet or our statement of return and earnings. Then that, then that will uh, transition into the uh, balance sheet. And then finally, what we're going to do then is any dividends that we have. We'll close those out and put those to retained earnings. So we may have had dividends of, let's say we had dividends of, $50, and we're going to take that away from our retained earnings. So we have uh, retained earnings here, and then we have dividends, and we're closing that out. Because remember, on dividends, it would be typically a debit balance, and so now we're going to credit that and remove that. So if I look and review all of this here, those are the four transactions that we have to make. We first start with our sales. We, get, we remove those sales, we then go to our expenses, and then we take any income or loss, 
and then we close that out, and then we close out our dividends. Those are the four things that we do. Now, as you can see here, my sales revenue will be then zero. When we start off the new period or new year, it'll be at zero. My expenses will be at zero. My, uh, I moved it over to retained earnings, and then I removed my dividends and moved that over to retained earnings. So as you can see there, that's how we close it, and all those will be back to zero, and all that stuff will be moved into our retained earnings, which we moved into our balance sheet. And that's how we close at the end of the period or end of the year. I'm Dr. Fred Sutton, and I hope you enjoyed this video on closing entries. Thank you.